eagle, America's proudest bird, is an environmental sentinel, says Dr. Bill Bowerman, an Upper Peninsula native who has been studying them since 1984. Bowerman runs Michigan's bald eagle monitoring program for the Department of Environmental Quality. We caught up with him recently at the Up North Media Center studio in Traverse City. Bowerman told us that Michigan's eagles are getting smaller and nesting earlier in response to a change in climate. Here's an outtake from his presentation. I'm looking at eagles for as a messenger for many different things, whether it's climate change or environmental pollution, or just to know about their ecology. This shows a chart from 1961 to 2010 of the increase in the numbers of nest sites that are occupied each year in red, and the green is the number of young that were produced. What's really interesting is the first 15 years of that program, there were 715 young produced in the entire state of Michigan in 15 years. And by 2010, we were producing over 700 young in a given year. So you can see we banned DDT in this, in this slide in 1973. And about 1985, the population just starts to climb exponentially. In the early 1960s, we started developing two surveys. We'd fly end of February, early March to find out who's home, who's trying to breed. And we come back in May or early June to find out how many nestlings are in the nest site. And then a subset of that sample for the state will go out and actually band the chick. So we have climbers, they are trained and they're all certified by the US Forest Service training methods and they climb up into the nest trees which are anywhere from 40 to 140 feet up in the air. And they climb in, they find the nestling eagles, we'll have anywhere from one to three nestlings and we started banding the baby eagles in 1965. What was really interesting when we were looking at this was the eagle field season when the nestlings are six to nine weeks of age, which is exactly where we want their age to be when we put their bands on. That project began about June 15th in the northern lower peninsula. Well, the same project now begins May 1st. So qualitatively, we had a six week change in the nesting cycle of eagles in Michigan. So what we decided to take a look at is since we had that qualitative six week change, why don't we see if we can actually measure it? Would there be a change? So we knew what the ages of the birds were based on the eighth primary. We could take a look at that to backtrack and then count 35 days earlier when they actually laid the eggs. We had over 2,100 first eggs laid that we analyzed from 1988 to 2006 to see if there was something we could do quantitatively. The eagles that are on the rivers that run into the Great Lakes have the earliest nesting. But in this time period from 1988 to 2006, that 18-year that period, they were actually nesting 15.7 days earlier almost 0.9 days per year earlier. Great Lakes breeding areas, which there are many more eagles living on the lakes themselves, they also had a decline in nesting earlier by 12.4 days in that 16 year period. They are nesting almost 0.7 days per year earlier on average. So our conclusions is that we have the greatest change in nesting observed in birds. They're nesting earlier. It's greatest where we have less ice cover. Think of those inland, those rivers that run into the Great Lakes that unfreezes quicker than the Great Lakes itself, mm -hmm. than the lake ice goes. No relationship in inland sites or at Voyagers National Park. And while our prey base, what they eat, may be changing, that ecology may be changing along with this. So far, the eagles have adjusted, and whatever that trigger is for laying, is still the same trigger and that food base is still there. We don't see any impact to reproduction. So one of the things that could happen with climate change is if you're too big, then e and if you can't adapt, you can't t your genetics can't change to make your body size smaller and it's getting warmer and warmer, it causes extirpation. You can have local extinction because there's too much heat stress.
And that's one of the things that we're really taking a look at. Can we predict this with climate change models? And one of the indications of adaptation would be if it's getting warm in areas where eagles are big, by measuring these same measurements with the nestlings, if they're starting to get smaller, we could see adaptation to this heat stress. Mm -hmm. One of my doctoral students took a look at that using all of our measurements and saw they are getting smaller inland in Michigan. So we have a dual indicator. The nesting cycle is going earlier and the nestlings are getting smaller. Coupling these climate models with heat stress, we, could, we can predict areas that may be at risk to local extinction. So eagles have told us a story for many, many years about environmental quality, first starting with DDT and now with the climate change.